Okay, here's my collection of the Dinobot sludge. And I recently just got this version right here, the main line by Hasbro and Takata. And this is really a nice um, figure and fits in very well with the first two releases of the Dinobots, which were Grimlock and Slag. And uh, just to show you real quick, what they look like. I'll bring them in. Here's a Slag and Grimlock. So here's the first three Dinobots and they look really really nice together. I actually did have an extra unopened set of Grimlock and Slag but I gave that away. Um, and it's a really nice set to have. And um, it's exciting because it was announced that um, Snarl and Swoop are also going to come out. So then that would complete all five Dinobots. And the Dinobots are really a popular Transformer uh, characters to, to have. So uh, I'm not planning to spend extra money just to get the other Dinobots and give it away, but just want to point out that um, you know, if you're lucky enough to have these current uh, figures, which prices have gone up, might as well invest in getting the rest of the Dinobots. But that's that. Here's a look at them, and they look really, really nice together. So now, starting from the very beginning, here is the G1 uh, sludge. And this is a uh, really nice. I think, yeah, I think this is the KO. And uh, some history for me. I remember being in Japan and seeing a lot of Transformer toys and I did pick this one up and for my little brother and I gave it to him when I came back from Japan. So that's a history behind Sludge for me. So after G1 there was no Chug but that's where third party were filling in. So this one's by Toy World which <laughs> it looks really cool. Um, and it fit in very well with the chug line. So that's um, third party chug. And then uh, Hasbro finally made uh, the Dinobots. I think it was initially Power of the Primes, but I gave all those away also. And that's because I got this version, which is uh, the more cartoon accurate colors. This is the Generation Select version. And, um, you know, for a mainline chug, it does look really nice. This is what they should have done in the first place. But, you know, that's what Hasbro's market strategy team is doing. They're trying to get you to buy more. So they make the first one not perfect and start doing all kinds of repaints. Um, 
but um, this one does look better although it's not perfect I mean if you see those ball joints they should be black so it's more cohesive right there it should be all black but for a main line um, it took a long time before you got the uh, Dinobots um, and this looks okay however when you put this together with the chug it's actually too small and when you put him next to Grimlock he's just way too big which since I have them all out right here I might as well just show what I'm talking about this is so out of scale <laughs> but when you look at it it does look nice so it causes a lot of conflicting feelings but that's not what you're getting with the new main line these are kind of like the mainline masterpiece right here. Okay, then moving on. I think before that, actually this was third party. This one was by Mech Fans Toys. And this one is really nice. Look at that. The, it's all black with a little bit of the blue detail to be cartoon accurate so well, actually I don't know I don't know if that's toy or cartoon but either way this looks really really nice and I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos how much I really love this Dinobot set by Mech Fans Toys um, and this does go with my Magic Square collection so in a way I consider this a mini masterpiece. And then I already went over this but this is what I got a few days ago. This is the Legacy Sludge. Just want to point out I, I don't like this stickers with the silver outline because that's not cartoon accurate. It should just uh, be a red Autobot symbol with no outline. But anyways, this is uh, the Legacy Leader Class Sludge. This is really a nice figure. And like I already said, it fits in very well with the first two release of the Dinobots. And then there is no official masterpiece, but that's where Fans Toys came to save the day and this is an older design so you know it has the aesthetic of resembling the cartoon but with a lot of these uh, details it's not in that hyper tune aesthetic but still this is really great and I'm hoping that these are masterpiece are going to be remade <laughs> I'm going to swap out that sticker for what I just said, just the red Autobot symbol with no outline. This is really nice and I had a choice, you know, if I wanted to get the, I forgot, uh, Giga Power or something version or get both and just a short version, I did not like the other company's version of the Dinobots and after seeing some review I think it was slag I can tell that the quality and design of the figure wasn't too good so uh, I decided to stay with fans toys and I think that was a good choice um, so much nice detail I mean the transparent with the detail inside so this is the masterpiece version. It's really nice. So uh, that's my collection of the Dinobot sludge. And I just thought I'd do this.
for the first time just to see how this turns out but I am going to try and see if I can do a quick um, transformation of the original G1 so let's see starting off you extend his arms out so that you can uh, get him positioned then uh, kind of put the back dinosaur legs in place which you heard it kind of snapped in place as a spring so that's cool and then let's see these little points here get in the way so you kind of have to make sure you angle it a certain way but before you do that you have to get this leg out so you split this tail in half which that's the way they designed it so you can split it and then you should be able to lift this leg out and then uh, you could open the wings just make sure you that's what I'm telling you get that out of the way then you well, bring this out because uh, the tabs sorry I don't uh, know the order very well but as I'm doing it I, I'm very aware uh, this is a little hard to open and it is a little scary because this is a plastic with chrome plating on it and I know over time when this hardens it's uh, going to be more prone to breakage but thankfully this is still holding up and um, yeah maybe it doesn't go this way maybe huh. yeah maybe it does I don't know it's just all I know is this is always a problem area and trying to open the, the wings because you don't even get clearance here so there is a little bit of um, moving plastic over plastic so I'll show you again as you're opening it from the hinge right there um, yeah see it is gonna slightly scrape that so it's not good clearance but once you get it halfway then you bring the arms forward and then everything else should be a little bit easier from here then you swip the waist around extend these legs up to form the hips and then bring the lower legs down and then you adjust it the way you want and um, no I didn't bring out his weapons because I don't like um, all these extra parts floating around where you can start losing them not knowing what weapons go with what but uh, there that's a quick well transformation of the original G1 sludge so now is a better closer look <laughs> yellow eyes um, but yeah this is what the cartoon character was based off of and this this is actually a really nice G1 figure so happy with that and uh, I am not going to transform this uh, toy world sludge or these other ones but um, that's my collection of the 
Dinobot Sludge. Really looking forward to getting all five Dinobots in this set right here. <laughs> 